Hey, good morning. Here we go again on another uh, video tour on another new listing. Uh, this one is at 7386 County Road 242. It has a Mount Gilead address. It's actually in Johnsville, uh, up in northern Morrow County. Uh, great location about midway between Mount Gilead and Lexington. So we'll be there in a minute or two and uh, we'll uh, show you around the place. Okay, so here we are at 7386 County Road 242. Uh, this is an adorable home that's been uh, lovingly cared for and updated over the years. You can see the addition on the right there uh, with the kitchen, first floor laundry. Uh, it has three bedrooms and a full bath. A uh, good sized lot and there's actually a two car detached garage uh, over there to the right on the right side of the driveway. And uh, the neighbor next door is the um, uh, library in uh, Johnsville and the neighbor across the street where I'm standing is the uh, Gilead Mennonite Church. Nice quiet neighborhood and uh, as I mentioned before about halfway between Mount Gilead and Lexington. Uh, great uh, property. Let's go on inside and uh, see the uh, see the interior. Okay so as we come in the uh, side door we come right into the uh, kitchen and dining area. Uh, laminate floor throughout the kitchen and dining. Uh, nice oak cupboards. Uh, kitchen appliances do remain. I'm going to walk over here to the other uh, side of the kitchen and kind of turn and pan so you can see the entire room. Uh, there is a uh, uh, breakfast bar here, eating bar, and if we go back toward the side door we're walking into the uh, laundry uh, area and then there is a full bath uh, right back in here, really cute. Uh, done very nicely with um, beadboard siding and uh, wainscoting and there's uh, built-in cabinets uh, both on the left of the sink uh, and on the right and a full tub, uh, you know, full bathtub there. There's also a uh, linen closet just outside the bathroom and we turn and head back toward the kitchen and the dining area. Uh, off, the, uh, off the kitchen and dining area through this doorway is a living room, and this is a large living room. It probably measures, uh, I, I'm trying to remember, I think about 22 square, and those measurements uh, are on my website on HerbSells.com. You can go there and pull the residential property disclosure, the lead-based paint disclosure, uh, copy of the survey, room measurements, utilities, and so on. Uh, this home has an uh, enclosed front porch, which although it's not heated right now, it could be, and uh, could certainly serve as a three-season room. They're using it, uh, uh, they've got the deep freeze out here. They also uh, have some starter plants going, a little portable greenhouse there. Uh, but these are uh, vinyl insulated windows, and as you can see, it's, uh, it's a finished room, and there's no reason why you couldn't put a small gas uh, or electric heater out here and actually uh, make this additional additional uh, living space. Certainly use it in the spring and the fall. Now we'll come on back in the house and uh, turn around and we'll head over uh, toward the master bedroom. We've got one bedroom down, uh, excuse me, we have two bedrooms down and one up. And as we uh, come over here and just come up one step into this landing, we come on into uh, the main bedroom. This uh, bedroom currently uh, has a queen size bed in it but could very easily uh, accommodate a king size bed. Uh, good size room, again the room measurements are on my website, but as you can see there's plenty of space on uh, each side of the bed. The home does have uh, all new vinyl replacement windows so you don't need to worry about those drafty, uh, uh, drafty original equipment, uh, so to speak, windows. Uh, this room actually has uh, double doors, French doors, uh, leading into what was probably another bedroom at one time but they're using it as a walk-in closet and uh, this room measures about 10 by 12 and uh, just makes for a great uh, walk-in closet right off the main bedroom and then we pan back around <clears throat> into the main bedroom uh, and if we come off this closet we go into a second bedroom which also has access from the hallway and this would serve as a, as a child's room or a nursery, or in this case they're using it kind of as a home office. They've got their computer and printer and whatnot set up here. And there is a closet in this room. I'm going to pan real quick. I know you don't want to spend a lot of time uh, looking at houses, but this will give you a good idea of the flow of the home. And we come back out this door into the hallway. There's the stairway to the right and the living room straight ahead. Okay, so let's go on upstairs and uh, check out what we've got up here. 
follow me okay so as we uh, get up to the top of the stairs got to be careful while I'm shooting and uh, walking up the stairs here uh, there's an open landing room which is about um, oh probably 10 by 12 they're using it for storage but it could be an area for a child's uh, study uh, homework area game area a little play area for the kids and then off of this room is the uh, is the third bedroom and this is a uh, full-size bed in this room and uh, there is a closet also over here on the left and there's also built-in closet in this landing room up at the top both on the left side of the bedroom and on the right side of the bedroom okay We've got some little bit of storage area in the eaves over here too so let's head on back downstairs and uh, we'll uh, we'll head back outside and give you a shot from the rear of the home okay here's a view from the uh, rear of the house outside uh, that is the uh, bathroom on the left, uh, larger kitchen window in the middle, and then the uh, uh, dining area window there on the right. And this little building over here to the right is not attached to the house, but it serves as a little storage shed, workshop for dad, uh, whatever. This home has about uh, a little over 1,500 square feet of space, three bedroom, one bath. It's Northmore Schools and uh, taxes are only just a little over nine hundred dollars a year I'm gonna take a walk over on the other side of the yard and uh, give you a view from the other side okay here we are uh, panning across the uh, the rear of the home uh, this is actually three lots totaling almost a half an acre a little over four tenths of an acre uh, we've got a uh, couple of apple trees we've got a grape arbor over here on the left and a, uh, a garden area fenced in in front of the garage there so I want to thank you again for uh, visiting Herb Sells on YouTube and uh, seeing uh, another one of my new listings. Uh, by all means, if, uh, if you'd like to see this home up close and personal, give me a call at 419-947-4004 and we'll get you in right away. Thanks again. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.